Hi Heather. I'm going to show you in this video how to go about scheduling an event and then also making that a product using WooCommerce. So first of all, you're going to schedule an event by going into, first of all, you're going to go to your dashboard, <clears throat> back end of the system. You're gonna be using two areas. You're gonna create the event, and then you're also going to be using WooCommerce, which is right here, and setting up a product. So what we're gonna do is, first we're going to add a new event, and I'm gonna make this a test event so that I am doing everything brand new with it. The nice thing is if there are events in place, you can change them out, but we're gonna call this a new event, okay? And then here, you're going to put the description of the event. Hang on a minute. Um, the start date and the end date. And what I'm going to do, you're just going to click on it here. And you are going to do, like, I'm going to do it far out so that you don't really see it. I'm going to make it November 1st. I'm going to keep those hours and recurrence. And the venue, I'm going to keep blank so that nothing comes up. We're still virtual. Okay. Okay. You want to include information and the excerpt. You want it to be the description as well. So you want to include the description there. Okay. And I believe, oh, we then also want to mark what kind of class it is all classes, it's gonna be a two hour class. Well, actually it's gonna be a one hour class, but we'll mark it as two hour and it is SAT. And you know what? I'll make it a new SAT event. And I'll make it two hours, what the heck? Get into here. And if you notice, this is your AM, this is your PM. Okay, all right, description, and you're ready to publish that event. Now, I've copied the description. That's important. So it is November 1st, 1130 to 1 30 p.m. Now I want to go over into WooCommerce products. And I want to add a new product. And I'll show you a couple of other things about that event that we're going to be doing. So a new SAT event. I'm going to add media. Yoast, I'm going to make it a price of $2.99. It's virtual. I'm gonna keep it simple product. Simple product means the only thing that's gonna be on this is the date information. So on this description, I also want to put, that is November, okay. November 1st, whoop, first, and time, 11.30 to 1.30, and then description there as well. Okay, copy that, copy that, all right, we have that information. Um, uh, if you were to have it that it would be more 
details about the product. You would be putting it into attributions, and I'll show you a couple of those uh, that we already have in place. So, um, so then you also want to have that as product short code. And over here, all classes, and let's call this all class. We'll just keep it under all classes. Okay. I'm going to publish that. So now if we go to the event, no wait, one more thing we need to do is view this product because we want the product's code. Okay. All right. We would be able to upload, uh, let me do that for you. One more thing that we want to include with the product is all the way down at the bottom, we want the product image. busy getting images here and let's see where he said that was in SA2 so we'll borrow this one and we're going to save the product okay make sure it's there and update One last thing we want to do once the product has updated is we want to view the product. The reason we want to view the product is because we have not added a button to the event yet for it to have people come over. So we want to highlight the URL address for it. In this case, tp4s.com forward slash product, forward slash a new SAT event, okay? But if you notice, it has the date, the time, the description, and what the amount is. Now we're gonna go back to the dashboard because we wanna go back to the event and we're gonna look at all events. And how the events are set up is it will show us all the events in chronological order with the start date that is the most recent. So in this case, it's showing our summer classes and this being scheduled in November will be on the second page. It is the last thing. We are adding a button to the description portion of the event. It's fairly simple. By return so that the button is below all the description. Click on the insert short code. Go to button. And the link is, this is the button link. We want to put the new one. It's going to remember the last one that was used. And then you're going to scroll all the way down and the content is going to be a new SAT event. And we're going to insert the code. So here you go, a new SAT event. It's showing a new SAT event. I'm gonna update that. And once it's updated, 
We're going to view the event so you can see that there is no indication of it being at any specific venue. It'll show the date. It'll show all of the information about that. So view the event. Here it is, a new SAT event, the description of the event, the time, the date, the categories and such. And I can go directly to the location where I can purchase it. And that is how you set up a simple product. Now, a couple of things that we want to go back and just kind of show you when it is just, it could be a simple product, but it could also be that you chose different times for people to attend, like in the case of the SAT uh, classes, workshops. So pretend this is an SAT workshop. So what we'll do is go back into all events. So one of the things I wanna show you is how you schedule when it's more than one day, day of the week. And we'll go back to that as well. And we'll just edit this. This is the event. And it's recurrence, okay? And it's going to be custom because it's going to be the first, the second, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. So, how I'm going to do that? Custom. I'm going to show the dates. I'm going to go into November 1st, 2nd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. And it's going to be the times. It's going to base it on those times. Still, the venue is going to be outside of that. Now, what you need to do, because this information is not going to be picked up just automatically here you might might put dates and it can be November 1st, 2nd, 4th, 5th, 6th and the time is going to be the 11.30 to 1.30 and then you want to copy that Okay, because what's happening over in the event, and I'll show it to you once it's all set up, what's happening over in the event is that this information is going to happen on the calendar, no problem. But over in the products, we have to manually bring over the dates and the times and make those changes. So here we go. We go into edit. And when we're in edit, we're going to just copy and paste. We just copied. So we're going to paste the description that we just copied in two spots. Keep that in mind, you always want to copy in two spots. Okay. And update. So I have this published, but what I'm going to do so that you can come back, look at it, use this as sort of a practice if you want. Um, I'm gonna put it into the status of draft so that 
the event will be a draft and the product will be a draft. And you can kind of practice on these before you go into physically making any changes um, to it. I did, I did notice, and I've got to say this, the SKU, you see this up here, product unable to sync to square due to SKU missing. It does like, you know, if, if, if uh, it likes a, a SKU in there. So, you know, we could put a new, And uh, because it's virtual, we don't set up inventory, but if you want to definitely limit the class sizes, even when it's virtual, you're more than welcome to put an inventory in there as well. Think of product as if it's something uh, physical, and what would those look like, look like? okay? All right, I am going to visit the site so that you can see the process that is now in place for the events. So we're just gonna go into calendar because th this actually will come up in all classes right now, uh, but I'm going to just move through this. If you notice the summer classes, it's not showing up there. If we go to November. November. It will show you the new SAT events. If you click on this, it will go to the event description. See the upcoming dates and, and such. And if you click here, it will go over into the information that's provided there that we changed out, okay? And that is how you do an event and products. Okay, if you have any questions, Feel free to always give us a call. Uh, we will help you in any way possible. Keep in mind that things do change with the events calendar and the product calendar. And we may be looking at this today, which is, what are we, on June uh, 26th. And to, so today, we may be looking at it and in two or three months, something could slightly be different because they're always fine tuning and updating and upgrading their products and services on the various plugins. So any questions, feel free again to give us a call and we're here to help you. I hope that this video was very helpful in setting up and making uh, product changes and events, adding uh, dates to your event calendar. So, thanks for watching.